Hey, this is Phone Arena and you are watching our video walk through the Windows Phone 7 operating system. We are going to show you the main elements of the new Microsoft uh, oper mobile operating system, uh, which we quite like, but let's see why. This is your home screen, which is uh, a vertical list of these so-called live tiles, which are like your icons, but they are animated here and show you relevant content. For example, uh, these inboxes here can show me uh, a small number here indicating the number of unread messages. In this case, I have read all messages. This arrow here to the right takes me to the main menu. Here you can see all of your installed applications and hubs. Hubs are an important part of uh, Windows Phone 7 because uh, they unite uh, most of the functionality in the operating system. For example, instead of having uh, different separate applications for each thing, say for Microsoft Word or another application for Microsoft Excel Mobile, you have the Office Hub, which you can enter and there you can find, find it all, like uh, OneNote, Microsoft Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and work with SharePoint server. This is the basic idea because behind Windows Phone 7 and we really like it because it's different and uh, gives us another way to approach our content and services. Probably the most important hub is the People Hub where you find your contacts. Here you have a list of all of your contacts here and you can jump to a specific letter with this key here. You can search for a contact by typing this, by tapping this magnifying glass icon and then you can type to search in first or last name. With a swipe to the left you are taken to the What's New screen because the phone book in Windows Phone 7 can be integrated with your Facebook account. So basically what you see here are your news from Facebook. And last but not least, you can see your recent correspondences here with people and also the profiles of people that you viewed. Then we have the messaging application, which shows us our course text correspondences in threaded style, which of course helps organize your, your uh, text correspondence. You can quickly turn a text message into a multimedia one by tapping the attach key here which allows you to attach a picture, sound file or a video file to a message. Equally important is your email support. Unfortunately, there is no universal inbox feature still in Windows Phone 7 so you have to approach your different, your different inboxes in separate live tiles. But let's get back to this one. You have of course a list with all of your emails. Swipe to the left will uh, let you see only your unread ma mails and another swipe takes you to the urgent emails. Here is how a typical email looks. Fortunately, they are all showed in HTML style and you can zoom using pinch and zoom. Pinch to zoom. You can also uh, send an office file. Uh, but you cannot attach it here from the email client, you have to do this from the Microsoft Office Hub. Speaking of the Office Hub, here it is. First we have some wonderful support for OneNote Mobile. Let's create a new node here. You can quickly type your text, attach an audio, a picture file, do some formatting stuff here and you are set with your note. Very easy and uh, comfortable to use feature. Next up we have our documents section. Here we can explore or work with uh, Word, Excel and PowerPoint. Here is how a Word document looks like. Unfortunately, um, editing options in Microsoft Word, Word are very limited. You can of course type and uh, delete text, you can insert commands, uh, but unfortunately the format options are very very scarce here. These are your formatting options and you only have three font and three highlight colors. So unfortunately you cannot insert uh, say an image or a table here. 
Thankfully, Microsoft Excel Mobile is a bit more functional because you can add different functions like this. These are your basic functions, but you can see more functions like this. It's a quite a nice list of uh, available functions. Unfortunately, text editing options in Excel are similar to those in Word, so there are very, very few of them. Last but not least, you have support for PowerPoint, but unfortunately, you cannot create presenta presentations on your phone. You can only view ones and edit uh, some text in those. Finally, you have support for SharePoint server, which is Microsoft's tool for, for co collaboration using those Microsoft Office files. A very important feature of the new Windows Phone 7 operating system is the Internet Browser, the new Internet Explorer, which works very quickly. It loads pages fast and uh, correctly. So we're really content with this uh, browser. It, scrolling is incredibly smooth, as you see, and you have uh, two ways to zoom in on your content, either by using pinch to zoom, which is very, oops, which is which is very comfortable, and you can still pan the page while zooming, or by using double tap, which is very accurate, just as in Safari. So we'll go as far as to say that this is probably the one of the best internet browsers on a phone. It's even better than the Android browser, uh, but unfortunately lacks flash support. Your games in Windows Phone 7 are stored in the Games Hub. Here you have your collection of Xbox Live titles and you can also uh, have the opportunity to try some additional titles before you buy them. You can personalize your Windows Xbox Live account. You can see requests by other uh, players. Here is the calendar in Windows Phone 7. It is quite minimalistic. This is the day view, which is very uh, appropriate, appropriate if you want to create an appointment. You just pick the desired uh, hour and then enter the subject, maybe some other details, and your appointment is set. You can also you, uh, view your uh, appointments in Agenda View or Month View. Unfortunately, days with appointments in them are marked with a very, very small text here, which is almost impossible to see. This is your Pictures Hub. It's the place where you can see your pictures. Of course, here is your collection with images. Here's how you can uh, switch between photos. It's a very good and uh, fluid interface. And you can see also what's new in terms of images. And also you can see what's new in Facebook in terms of images right here from the Pictures Hub. You also have the option to sort your content by all, date or favorites. This is the Music and Videos Hub and we are totally in for it because of its uh, great visual presentation. You see, it shows you an, a panoramic background of the last uh, artist that you've listened to. It's a really great, great interface. From here you can quickly jump to the Zune Marketplace uh, where you can purchase some music. Again we see that uh, great visual presentation here. Uh, the background will always be different depending on the featured artist. The Zune Marketplace lets you see new releases, top albums or browse for music um, on, in different genres. Last but not least, we're going to take a look at the new marketplace for mobile uh, from where you'll be able to purchase applications, games and music. It also shows you if there are available updates for your installed applications. So the marketplace lets you see featured content, a featured Xbox Live title and of course it divides its content into three main categories applications, games and music. The music we already saw, so let's see how games look. For example, first you see the Xbox Live titles, then you see the top rated uh, titles, you see new stuff, you can see free, 
free titles or just browse uh, in categories. The camera interface in Windows Phone 7 is again pretty minimalistic. You have these zoom keys here. <clears throat> you can simply switch between camera and camcorder and with this key here you get to the available options. You can turn on and off or automatic uh, setting for your flash and choose uh, the, the focusing mode, white balance, image effects and contrast. The interface is great because it lets you uh, quickly jump between your photos that you've taken and the camera interface itself. Of course you would like to set alarms in your phone and here's how this is done. It is really simple. Let's create an alarm here. You just choose your time which happens like this. You see uh, again a great great interface by Microsoft. Then you pick your desired sound, uh, your, its a repetition scheme and it's done. You just activate it.